if I want to go to Disney, I would rather allow Disney to win, pay them the money for the Genie Plus while I'm there, even though I know I shouldn't have to, in order to avoid the abuse that I went through with the last Disney cast member, where this cast member told me a girl that looks like you couldn't possibly have anything wrong with them. Because cost and worth are two different things. I value my time and I don't want to be abused. So I would rather pay Disney to have a disability, not utilize DAS, buy the Genie Plus in order to avoid the abuse of how I have been treated in the past using DAS. You heard that correctly. I will pay Disney a fee to use Genie Plus, even though I have a disability, to avoid the process of the abuse that I went through from previous cast members in renewing my DAS Pass. That's how horrific it was. Disney World or the Disney Company has put out their new rules regarding the what was formerly known as the DAS Pass or how the DAS Pass will now be mitigated at the parks. Universal Orlando recently subscribed themselves to a third party company called IBCCES. They require documentation to prove your disability. And yes, all of these things go against the ADA. For many of you on here, you're gonna say things like, access at the parks is not something that the ADA covers. Yes, it is. There's many people out there in society today, unfortunately, education is lacking. For a lot of you saying that it's perfectly okay what Universal Orlando is doing, for example, there's actually a pending lawsuit uh, in regarding IBCCES and Six Flags with someone who is a uh, disabled individual. Uh, a lot of people will also gaslight and make comments. A company wouldn't do something that they know they could get in trouble legally for, you know, where they could be sued. Companies do that all the time. There is a case, you could look it up, about how Disney treated a girl that was disabled that was a former employee that worked at Disney Springs and the things that she went through as a disabled employee and she has sued the Disney company. There's an example right there. You'll have people that will comment and say, oh, she shouldn't have had a job. That's, that's the people of the world today. These are also the same people that probably stared directly at the sun during the eclipse. And when I made comments on my channel that you probably shouldn't stare at the sun during the eclipse, they said, what do you know? Of course I could stare at the eclipse. So this, these are the same people. So people, pretty much who say the ADA doesn't exist or the ADA doesn't cover theme parks or Disney or Universal can do whatever they want. Probably the same people staring at the eclipse. As you know, Disney has now put out their version of a watered down version of what Universal did with IBCCES. The difference is Disney has an ounce of smarts to them that they know that they cannot require documentation that that would be a blatant uh, green light for lawsuits like you've never seen with the ADA they have, in a sense, become their own third party. So instead of going to this IBCCS, they're keeping everything in-house. Not that I know that the cast member has gone to UCF, I'm just giving you a hypothetical situation. You could have, and this is not their real name, Mary, Mary, who just graduated from UCF, will now do the video chat with you, with Disney, and she will decide, and in a sense, play doctor, as to whether you have a disability or not, or what the things that your disability needs. This is not a real person's name, obviously. In a sense, she's playing doctor, uh, practicing medicine without a license to decide. Of course, those people who have unfortunately taken up those types of jobs, working for customer service with Disney with video chats and screening, um, you know, they've probably been given a list of things to say and how to mitigate the conversation and what to say when the person says something or says or protests or says something. Um, something else that's interesting is Disney World will not have any ability in person to go to a cast member for assistance. Uh, the ADA says that you cannot create any, any hardship or anything that would impede the person's ability to gain access. So someone doesn't have a phone that has a digital element or they have um, a government assistance phone or something like that that doesn't have a video element to it or they don't own a computer or it hurts their disability to get onto a video chat um, in some way. I don't know. It induces epilepsy. Who knows? What? I'm not a doctor, so I don't know all the ways something could, something could affect someone. They will not have any access because they can't, they can't do the video chat. 
I also noticed in the past when I would um, try to gain access to the video chat to do the DAS ahead of time, it would just drop it. I tried the signal. I tried over a two-week period on a trip that I thought I was going to do to Disney, didn't end up going on it, to renew my DAS. And I had the attitude, oh, I could, oh, if it fails, I could always go in person to the, cat, to the customer service. Tried over and over and over again, hours at a time, signal dropped. Uh, it says uh, you're in a waiting queue, then it would drop, called customer service, what do I do? I've tried to do this now two weeks in a row, can't get it to work. Now basically the attitude is you're out of luck. I'm very curious to see how many people are even able to get through with the video chat. So you have cast members that are going to play doctor, uh, essentially practicing medicine without a license. Uh, you're going to have a cast member decide whose disability has merit and which ones do not. Their website is now indicating that only there's a wide range of dis so essentially now what Disney is implying from their website is that there's going to be two main things occurring. Those with what's implied are because they said only some people today have disabilities even though we've actually seen an increase in society today will be allowed through the typical DAS line things like autism. And then they're saying anyone else who has a disability even though the ADA says you can't pick and choose you're going to probably be told to that there's going to be some availability to leave the line and come back. So I'll give you an example. Someone who has a disease of the intestines or some type of gastric problem. I'm not a doctor, so I don't know. I've heard of words like Crohn's disease and all these others. My disability is a little bit different. Um, you're going to be told that if you need to use the bathroom, get on the line last as long as you can and get off the line. So basically what Disney is saying is that if in the past you need, you only knew you could stand on the line a certain amount of time before you need to go to the bathroom, that's tough luck. If you need to wear a diaper, this is what Disney's gonna say, wear a diaper. If you need to poop on yourself, Disney's gonna say, poop on yourself. They don't care. And you would say, how is this possible? How is this possible that this company is acting this way and is blatantly going against the ADA because the ADA does not give theoretical Mary the ability to say, sorry, Bob, I know you have this disease and everything and you can't hold your, your bowels, but you're gonna have to poop on yourself, okay? We don't care here at Disney. How is it possible that now they're doing this? Well, narcissism, they don't care. It's not the company that it was founded on, and that goes back to a long history of a, of a family that was, had a lot of issues with, that the company did not continue in the trajectory that they had initially thought. Um, with the ADA does not allow for you to say, your disability has merit and yours does not. That, in other words, it doesn't allow for you to distinguish, oh, you know, your disability involves the bathroom, I'm sorry, poop on yourself, we don't care about that here. Um, they are what they are. And a lot of our trauma in society is that we don't accept things for what they are. We want it not to be true. Companies do this all the time. Lawsuits take time and you'd have to go in and do research on this case now that involves IBC CES with Six Flags and that I'm sure will have a trickle effect which will then open the door to lawsuits involving Universal because I'm sure one will lead to the other. Again, I'm not a lawyer. I feel the need to constantly say that because in society today, I feel if you have any drop of intellect, people just assume. I have been using DAS for a very long time. Probably 10 years I'm in the system using DAS. Um, my last experience using DAS was bad enough that I would rather pay Disney to have a disability and not be abused by a cast member than to advocate my rights under the ADA. You heard that correctly. Am I talking in a hypocritical manner? No, I'm in a sense, I'm talking in a very, you know, I'm doing what's good for me manner. Cost and worth have different values to people. I realize that if I myself want to go to Disney, I will have to pay a financial amount to Disney to have Genie Plus to avoid the process of going through acquiring DAS because my last experience renewing my DAS 
was so horrific and so abusive that I would rather not go through the experience. I would rather pay Disney to have a disability and be left alone and have the Genie Plus and not have the turmoil of being abused by a cast member to acquire what I deserve to have of the DAS than to go through it. The last time I went through the process of renewing my DAS, I had a cast member essentially say a girl imply a girl that looks like you could not have a disability. He then went on to fake taking my photo and renewing it because you have to renew it a certain amount of time. It had been a month since I had been there. Get to the ride, you're not in the system. I walk through the scorching heat to the customer service. They don't want to admit what he did. He said they admitted he never accessed my thing. Go back to the line. They give me a comeback time. I wait four hours outside of the line. I've had people write on my comments, you just wanted to skip the line. Waited four hours outside of the line, return to the line to be told that the line is now eight hours. So you just learned cost and worth are two different things. If it was under the typical, and this is a thought process I was having before this came out, this announcement. that if I want to go to Disney, I would rather allow Disney to win, pay them the money for the Genie Plus while I'm there, even though I know I shouldn't have to, in order to avoid the abuse that I went through with the last Disney cast member, where this cast member told me a girl that looks like you couldn't possibly have anything wrong with them. Because cost and worth are two different things. I value my time and I don't want to be abused. So I would rather pay Disney to have a disability, not utilize DAS, buy the Genie Plus in order to avoid the abuse of how I have been treated in the past using DAS. You heard that correctly. I will pay Disney a fee to use Genie Plus, even though I have a disability, to avoid the process of the abuse that I went through from previous cast members in renewing my DAS pass. That's how horrific it was. People would say this doesn't sound like a very good trip. I actually ran the calculations on, for example, some of the, 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 the rooms that you could stay on at the Polynesian and it would be cheaper to go to Fiji. And one's Fiji and one's a swamp. I know one's got turkey legs and all, but uh, turkey leg on a stick and bacon on a stick and you could guess which one, but Fiji sounds a little better. And um, cost and worth are two different things. I value not having to be abused. I find it interesting also how at Disneyland, supposedly they're gonna have the ability to go up to a window. I don't know if that has to do with that. California is a little bit more liberal or, or what their values are there a little bit, but it's still, it's still all very bad. And, um, it's not worth it. It probably has to do with something that they don't have a typical yearly pass there anymore. And they don't think the, you know, the amount of people going will be as much. Um, you've had some other larger vloggers have been commenting on Twitter saying that this is just, they don't give a damn Disney. This is their ability to get you to get frustrated, which is exactly what they've been doing over time. In other words, in the past, I couldn't get on the video chat. I had to do it in person. And this is just their attempt on taking things they were already doing in the past to make it as miserable as possible and um, just solidifying it. This is the way they've, they've been for a very long time. Just letting them show their true colors. What do I think is going to happen? In the long run, there probably will be a lawsuit. Takes time, lawsuits. It's going to affect a lot of people because now you're going to have a cast member, if you're able to attain the video chat, who will decide if your disability has merit. It's amazing because the ADA doesn't say you're allowed to do that. And telling someone who has a intestinal disorder to try the best they can to go through the line, if you feel you need to poop on yourself, you poop on yourself. You get off that line, you tell a cast member that you pooped on yourself. You get off the line, you go buy a pair of sweatpants in the gift shop, 
And then you get yourself back on that line and you tell the cast member, I'm the one that had to leave the line because I pooped on myself. It's not a big deal. That's what Disney is saying. You, you just tell that cast member that you pooped on yourself. It's all good. And then maybe you go get yourself a turkey on a stick. Um, you're not going to see a lot of... Uh, I applaud some of the larger Disney vloggers. There's one that's... They're not only a Disney vlogger. They do other content. And I believe they're out of Disneyland. They've posted on Twitter about this. For starting to vocalize this stuff. But you're going to have others that won't say one word. Because they enjoy the free donuts that they get from Disney. Or the thought of getting that free donut. So, um... This is my channel, Nicole Cruz. I haven't done content like this in a while, and I need to. It, one of the reasons I, I haven't is because I've been going through a lot myself. And advocacy videos, they emotionally take a lot out of me. But it was important to make this video. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all, and feel free to share your thoughts. And I will see you soon in my next video, and bye!